to make a warning that this game is centered around really dark imagery of uh, depression, grief, and suicide. And as somebody like myself who has dealt with each of those things, I want you guys to know that if you are going through a rough chapter in your life, please, I highly encourage you to not watch this video and, you know, just, you know, and seek help from a friend or a family member. And if you're going to continue watching this very video, uh, then I just want you to be prepared because <laughs> I wasn't. So, yeah, if anything, uh, I at least... At least I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Alright and we are back to part two of I Saw Black Clouds. Oh man yo this game yo it got some creepy shit but damn is it oh man it's, it's deep so but as I've said in the first episode, we're kind of neck deep into this, so you might as well continue, right? Oh, hello. Is anybody else expecting, like, Emily's, like, head just, to, like, a pop around the corner? If you didn't watch the first episode... Oh. Then, yeah, you missed some serious shit, dude. It doesn't talk to me. Uh, she puts thoughts in my mind. How is this affecting you? Uh, I feel like it every day, um, especially at night. Uh, as though I'm always being watched. And, and what she used to say was comforting. Um, but now it's things that frighten me. I'm concerned that this imaginary friend is affecting your emotions so much. Imaginary. She is as real as you are. Please, keep talking to me, Emily. It's important you explain this. I can't. Why not? Because... He's right there, standing behind you. <laughs> Yikes. So I'm starting to sense a pattern here. It seems like whoever is haunting Emily drove her into, well, you know, and then Hello, now man. Emily is haunting us, yeah, and, uh, Peter, whew! It's Christina, isn't it? How can I be of help? There are a few things I wanted to ask you. Well, after a bereavement, people often want answers. about Emily. I just wanted to better understand what happened. Friends and family have all sorts of feelings after an event like this. Uh, uh, guilt is, is very common. Emily talked about seeing ghosts here in the village. And it's something that I've experienced as well. It's very common after a death like this to have such experiences even for those that don't believe in the paranormal. I thought that too, but this is something different. Maybe it has something to do with the story of Agnes. Agnes? It's a local legend. It dates back to the 18th century. She was a maid who worked in the Lord's estate. Her parents brought her over from Sweden when they came to work here. The story goes that she had an affair with the Lord. 
when she fell pregnant, he was, he was horrified that she wanted to legitimize the relationship. It was all very different back then, of course. So what did she do? Well, when she refused to back down, he threw her out. It was very cruel. Her parents weren't around for her, and, and as a single pregnant woman back then, your, your choices were, were very limited. Out of options and without any hope, she threw herself into the lake on the Lord's estate, drowned herself and the unborn child. And that's where the ghost stories come from. Thanks, Anne. She told that trick to piss off. Not exactly. <laughs> it's said that she cursed the area with her death. And that her spirit returns to taunt young women into taking their own lives. <laughs> it's all nonsense, of course. But there are more suicides here than normal. Some areas are more prone to this than others. The sad fact is, suicide hotspots occur more often than you'd think. And having a local legend like this only adds to the problem and plays into people's neuroses. Doesn't help that Alexander keeps talking about it. He's the Lord's descendant. He lives here in the village? Yes. The estate's had the same family and for hundreds of years. I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it's not the kind of thing you want to hear when you've just lost a friend in the way that you have. It can be a little bit grumpy, too. I was thinking the exact same thing, man. I was like, hey, we, we, need, answers. we need some answers, man. Cause I, uh, I, I ain't about to continue this cycle. Fuck that. Hello, Alexander? Yes, what do you want? I believe I met a colleague of yours today, Dominique. She mentioned to me that you worked at the clinic. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. Very well, come in. Thank you. This is my friend Emily. She passed away recently. Yes. I was at the clinic when your friend was there. But purely in an advisory capacity, I uh, couldn't comment on her treatment. Why did the clinic close? No. Yeah. Series of patient disappearances. Suicides. Over the years, it led to its closure. And anything else? There was nothing wrong with the treatment there. It was the building that was cursed. So you believe there's some truth in this curse? Oh, yes. This house has been under dark clouds for hundreds of years. Ever since my ancestor foolishly impregnated that stupid maid. Do you live here on your own? Now, yes. My wife left years ago. I would have gone too if I hadn't have believed that I would have taken the curse with me. You believe the curse would follow you? Oh, yes just as I'm sure I drew it to the clinic. All those vulnerable people. It's an angry spirit. It preys on those who are emotionally open to it. Have you seen her? Of course. She haunted this house for years, burning the life out of anybody who lived under its roof. 
Yeah. The good reverend hasn't told you the full story, has he? My ancestor was an arrogant man. He was also stupid. A man in his position should never have gone near one of his domestic staff. I mean, a maid, for goodness sake. I suppose her being Swedish must have added an air of exoticism. Okay, do you want to kiss on every wall, like in the house or something? I'm sure some, like some of the outside could use your saliva. Oh damn, right in the hallway? Yo, you guys gonna do it like on the stairs? It's kinda dangerous, but... And uh, a little uncomfortable. Of course, the inevitable happened. Usually these things are handled discreetly, but for some reason she thought he would acknowledge her as the father of her child. A preposterous idea back then. Serious? This, this guy clearly never seen Maury. She had to leave, of course. The other staff turned their backs on her. Nobody in the village would help. <laughs> Quite alone, with no family to turn to, she was left with almost no choice. They say that a soul that dies in a state of rage leaves a curse. Well, Agnes cursed us all that day. So people believe these deaths were because of her? Records in this house were very carefully kept. Particularly so on an estate so heavily reliant on agriculture. The phases of the moon were noted. Agnes's death was remarked on at the time because of the blood moon that appeared in the sky on the night of her death. A lunar eclipse. Indeed. Two years on and Agnes was barely remembered until the next blood moon appeared in the sky. on the stairs, whispering to her. Yep, they done they fucked up. The days went on, and she became more and more hysterical, claiming she heard Agnes speaking to her wherever she went. After that, 
we grew to fear the appearance of a blood moon. Even now? Let me show you something. Out there used to be the outbuildings that the servants lived in. What happened? I had it burned to the ground. When one of the servants started complaining about a woman who'd be seen in the building at night, I finally had enough. Did she ever come back? <laughs> I had the grounds of the house lined with salt. She never returned. All right, my boy been watching Supernatural. He's he done village. his research. By the lake where she died. I really don't recommend you go there. I just want to know if she had anything to do with what happened to my friend. Look, I hope you find your answers. But if I were you, I'd leave this accursed place. Uh, something tells me we're already neck deep, just like this game. I mean, <laughs> we got to see through it to the end. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and look at our stats. So, holy shit, look at acceptance. I guess this, again, I'm pretty sure acceptance is good. Uh, but our guilt went up, so now we're at 10%. Uh, now it's at 10%, but look at everything else. Holy crap, it's starting to go up, so. I guess we're heading in the right direction in terms of, like, trying to get the best ending, but. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the old clinic is? You mean the asylum? Yeah, it used to be mental health. Yeah, that's it. The old mental place. They turn it into houses now. Follow the road up half a mile and turn right. Thanks. Yeah, you watch yourself up there. Pretty girl like you. All sorts of weirdos hanging about at that place. Yeah, thank you. The mental people go about there sometimes. Watch your step. Not that I'm prejudiced or anything. Okay, well, don't be, you know, super obvious, would you? <laughs> Idiot. Anybody here? Go left or straight ahead? What? Well, there's nothing left except a window. Obviously, it means like in the next room, but I guess I'm just gonna go straight. I mean, it really isn't anything leading me to any direction, so. Yeah. Oh, I just hope we chose the right one. choice actually matter
Leave or keep looking? Uh, hell no, I'm gonna keep looking. I mean, hell yeah, I'm gonna keep looking because I mean, I'm here, right? If I'm, I mean, I'm gonna find my answers. I, I ain't scared. Why? Well, I ain't a little bit scared, but yeah, I'm gonna find my answers. So I know if like something tries to kill me, I know you guys have my back. Ooh. Right? Oh, wait. I think I think half the people have already left. <laughs> Oh no, come on! Christina. Oh! <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, I asked for this, didn't I? I had to stay in the fucking hospital. Better not be closing your eyes, bro. Don't be closing your eyes, kids. I mean, we won't look at this bitch, but... Okay, that's probably a bad idea not to look at her, but... Oh, I ain't closing my eyes for this bitch. I'm gonna fucking punch her on you. Come on, you fucking bitch. Okay. I guess it was just my imagination. I literally got my fist up, like, in front of my face, <laughs> ready to punch her lights out. I'm gonna fight a ghost. You guys won't hear it, but, uh, if I need to fight a ghost... Or, yeah, you guys won't see it, but if I need to fight a ghost, you guys will hear it. I think I see her. I think I see that bitch out there in the hallway. Hey, idiot, I'm over here. And she sees me. Okay, we are so fucked. Oh no, don't do this light left or right. Just give me the fuck out of here. Okay. What's your game? You shouldn't be here. This is a close sight. Why would I tell a random dude there's a ghost in the building like he would believe me? Hey, come on. What did you think you were doing wandering about like that? If I was a patient here, I just wanted to see it for myself. <clears throat> I don't think so. Well, this place has been closed more than 20 years. No. She was here two years ago. This place was closed up after the fire broke out on the ward. But you're fucking they moved all right. the mental stuff to some other place. <laughs> like, oh, this place is so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that was creepy as fuck. <laughs> I don't even know who Red Deep Peter is, so I guess we'll go with Alexander. I think Alexander is the pastor dude, maybe? Oh no, it's uh, this dude, okay. So maybe Red Deep Peter was the uh, pastor guy, but uh, whatever. I mean, this guy has the answers, right? I see you didn't take my advice. That is unfortunate. I'm sorry. I just... I had to know if you know who this is. 
Yes, this is Lucy. Unfortunate girl went missing from here well, a few years ago now. Three, to be precise. Do you know why? I have no idea. You could try talking to her father, Matthew. He still lives in the village, but I really wouldn't advise it. Why not? You know I'm going to do it anyways, right? It left him in a certain... fragile state. He lives on his own now. Thank you. You should stay away from this. No good can come of it. Your friend is gone. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, legit. I just need to know the truth. What are some answers you should not be looking for, Christina? You know, like, legit, this kind of gives me, like, the ring mixed with the grudge vibe. Like, the grudge, you know, spooky ghost and, you know, shit. And then the ring, it's kind of like a curse has been placed on us for some reason. But, uh, yeah. So Thanks for coming with me, though, homie. I mean... <laughs> Hello, Matthew? It is? Yeah, we want to talk about what that. What can dead. I do okay, for you? I'm just kidding. Um, we were wondering if we could talk to you about your daughter. Oh. Well, I suppose you'd better come in then. What, but are you still uh, open up to the fact of something this deep? Our friend recently passed away. And we felt that it might have something to do with what happened to your daughter. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about your friend, but I can't see what it would have to do with Lucy. Our friend Emily had an interest in what happened to your daughter. She had a photo of her. Why would she be interested in someone who ran away from home? Well, we don't know, but we were hoping that you could maybe help us. Well, I can certainly try. Did she talk about anything strange before she ran away? Look, I don't see why I need to talk about this. If you haven't heard from her in this long, do you not think that something else might have happened? No. She's somewhere. Look, I don't know where, and for whatever reason, she doesn't want to talk to me yet. But I'm sure she'll call soon enough. Look, in my heart, I know she's fine. Have you never thought that maybe she's not coming back? Ugh. Wasn't that bloody vicar? She is coming back. She's fine. I don't think that's... See, true. this boy, denial stats is at level 200%. But, you know, I'm so cool that I'm at 90%. What? All right. Look, I want both of you out of my house now. Oh, look, he's salty. He saw my stats. That he's salty about it. Go on, say it. What, that sometimes it's better to let me do the talking? <laughs> do you think he was a bit of a creep? What? The way he was looking at us. Bam! He managed to get a lonely guy to chuck two women out of his house. <laughs> Quite an achievement. Shut up. Besides, I've got an idea. I just feel like they blurred out the uh, license plate. I'm like, bam! Like, he's just like lost his daughter. Hi. Like, come on now. Sorry, I thought I should come and apologize for my friend's behavior. Do you mind if I come back in? And now we are about to break into this guy's house, aren't we? Wow, okay. The things you do for answers, people. Look, I'm sorry, I probably overreacted, but uh, uh, yeah. uh, I, I have to say my wife has probably made things worse. She's I'm just going to have to hope Charlotte can like, hold her own. Support, uh, financial, I mean.
yeah, not creepy at all. The lake near the orchard is where she told me to go, a broken hearted soul she understands my pain so much. Ah, uh, come on, I already know who it is. Ah, uh, so creepy! I can't believe we just did that. I hope you found something. I think I did. I thought we were never going to get out of there. Did you smell the drink on him? No. Poor guy. Hey, the clothes are white, not black. Alright. <laughs> Uh, I think this is where I'm gonna go ahead and in today's episode um, but yeah wow I mean yo I don't know how this game like this game is like both like dark and depressing and actually like creepy the jump scares can be a little better but uh, other than that though um, <laughs> wow this is a uh, wow this is a different story than I thought this was going to be but anyways um, yeah uh, Thanks so much for watching as usual. I'll see, I'll see you. Uh, man, I guess I'll see you in the part three. So, later.